Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, it's me again, Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanoi. I come from Kenya and I live in Germany. Hallelujah. Amen. I know there are few who they knew me. Yes. And uh, many who they don't know me. But Jesus is Lord. By the grace of God, we are going to know many of us together. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to read the book, 1 Corinthians 6, 18 to 20. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. We are going to read the book of 1 Corinthians 6, 18 to 20. Hallelujah. Amen. So today is another day the Lord has made it. Yes, my sister and my brother. God bless you. We are going to read the book of the Lord. My sister, my brother, I know you have opened it. Okay. I'm going today to talk about uh, our body is the temple of God, the temple of Holy Spirit. What do we do with our body? We have to take care of our body. Our, we, we ourselves. Nobody else. Yes. We pray God to give us power and to fulfill us with the Holy Spirit. So, if your body is the holy temple of Lord, yeah, your body is the holy temple of Holy Spirit. You know, you have to be clean. To be clean, not only to be clean outside, and inside is dirty. Or to be clean inside and outside is dirty. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the Lord have chosen me again and called me again to preach this word for you, my sister, my brother. Um, I minister this word of God the way the Lord called me and the way the Holy Spirit controlled me. Okay. My sister and my brothers. I'm going to preach about our hair. Yes, about our hair. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why I show also my own. My own also is natural. And I wanted to show how beautiful African hairs look like. Amen. Amen. So, first we are going to read it in Jesus' name. I know that my sister, my brother, have opened it. I repeat again. It's the first book of Corinthians 6, 18 to 20. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, I read. Avoid immolarity. Any other sin a man commits does not affect his body. But the man who is quality of sexual immorality sins against his own body. Hallelujah. Amen. 19. Don't you know that your own body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Hear that very well. I continue. Who lives in you and who was given to you by God? That's a question. You do not belong to yourself, but to God. He brought you for a praise. So use your bodies for God's glory. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I like reading. Yes, I like reading. Hallelujah. Amen. So I repeat again. First Corinthians, that is 6, First Corinthians 18 to 20. I read, avoid immorality. Any other sin a man commits does not affect his body, but the man, who's, the man who is quality 
to sexual immorality sins against his own body but his own body don't you know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit who lives in you and who was given to you by god it's a question you do not belong to yourself but to god he bought you for a price so use your bodies for god's glory so because my time is running i had just have 15 minutes hallelujah praise the name of the living god amen you hear my sister my brother i'm going to read the last last one yes i'm going to read the last one hallelujah amen i'm going to read the last one yes that's number 20. he brought you for a press so use your bodies for god's glory that is what i was asking you before that first time hallelujah i was asking you before that first time what do we do for our bodies my sister my brother there is something which people they don't agree and they don't believe it and they don't want it and they don't want to hear and they don't want to understand <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the living god you know maybe sometimes you can hear somebody preaching or uh, somebody preaching you say ah, what is he saying this thing is making me to feel happy i feel good when i do this thing you know uh -huh. your body is the temple of god your body is the temple of holy spirit hallelujah amen my sister my brother ha huh. you believe it you like it or not there are some things there are some things sometimes we have to leave it mostly we are africans women christians there are some things we have to leave it. If you are really, you really believe in Lord Jesus Christ, believe, or you really, you have really given your life to Jesus Christ and you say you are really a Christian. Hey, my friend, there are some things you have to leave them. But your, 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 your brain, your mind, it won't allow you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, when you believe in Jesus and pray and tell Jesus Christ, Daddy, this thing, I like it too. I don't want to leave it. Pray to him. Tell him, but today, I want to leave it because it doesn't make you happy. Pray the Lord and ask him for mercy. Yeah? There is a, there is a, a fast which I like reading. Jeremiah 33. 3. This fast, when I pray, I pray with it. And it changed my life. I was not like this the way you look at me. Oh. <laughs> yes my testimony will come one day not today today i'm preaching about the hair so my sister my brother there are things you want to leave and you don't want to leave it but if you pray in the name of jesus try and pray in the book of jeremiah 33 3. the lord said call me i will hear you call me i will answer you call me i will show you something you never know call me i will show you things you never even see before very difficult things hard ones uh -huh. those hard things is those things which you want to leave yourself and you cannot leave it but in the name of jesus christ if you want to leave it my sister you will leave it you know what is that that's about our hair i'm preaching for all women and all men because it's not only women they put on um weak or they put on with one or they blend this uh, Bob Marley or Rasta, or they put chemicals in their hair. Even men themselves. Even men themselves. Men, they put calcates. Men, they put weak. Yes. Men, they put weak. There are men who they have, uh, we call it in Swahili, uh, Kipara. They don't have hair here, here on, uh, <laughs> on the top of their head. They don't have hair. So they will go and buy. They'll go and buy that small wig. There's a small wig for men. Not only women, so there are small wig for men. If you see many Europeans, yeah? Even African people. They put it so that 
it will look fine and look smart. Can I tell you something, my sister, my brother? <laughs> this hair, before when I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I was using them because I didn't know the meaning of it. Those times, those times when I was in misery. Now I'm not in misery. I don't go back to misery. So, African air, they are very nice, very strong and health. If you take care of your hair, your hair looks very nice. Why should we African women go and collect Europeans' hair? Indians air, Asiatic airs, and just Cover it your own Gloria hair, which the Lord gave it to you. You just bring that, that, that satanic hair. Why do I say satanic hair? Because it's a spirit inside that hair. There is a spirit because that hair doesn't belong to you. That hair belongs to another woman. And let me tell you, my sister, my brother, me, I've seen it in internet. That hair is not only for women. Not that they cut only for women like this. No, they cut even for men. They are men, like in, 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 in the country of India, they go to the temple. They go and offer their heirs to, to, maybe there is somebody sick in his family. Maybe there is somebody who has cancer in his family. Maybe there is somebody who, who, who is so poor. Or maybe somebody die. you know, things like those ones. They go and cut the, their hair and say, we are offering this hair in our temple. You as a Christian, you don't pray idol. There are people who they pray idol. They go and cut their hairs to give it to the idol. And there are people who they go to that country, they go and collect those hair and bring it and, 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 and sell it in African shops. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Let the truth be the bitter. No problem. But so long as you hear what I'm telling you, that hair is satanic hair. Because even somebody who die and he have very long hair, they are not going to bury him with that hair. Oh, let me tell you. They are not going to bury him with that hair. They will cut that hair and take it to the temple. They will go and talk their words. They say, oh, we sacrifice this hair because that person has died, so the spirit of that person will come to our family. But the person who go collect this hair, go put it in, her, in his head or her head. Let her take that spirit. You will see a lady putting those hair in the head, scratching herself, she don't have peace. You will see some women, sometimes they quarrel. When they fight, they will pull this hair. They will pull themselves. They just pull that hair because that hair have satanic inside. It's have, it have demo inside. Because it's a hair which somebody sacrifices it and talk about that hair. He wants something to be well in his family. He wants a child to be healed in his family. He said, me, I'm a mother for my child. I'm sacrificing this hair. And we African women, we go and buy that hair and put it in our head. My sister, think about it. Think about it today. If you will hear my message, don't worry. Don't mind yourself. If you will hear my message, hold that hair and look it. It is not your own. That hair is not your own. It's for somebody else. This person, when she was selling that hair, she had a purpose. She didn't just sell it like that. Why you African woman don't cut your own hair and sell it to another person? Why the other people don't come and collect the African women's hair and put it in their head? Why do we African women go and collect uh, European hairs, Asiatic hair, Indian hairs, and put it in our head? And then we say we look beautiful, we look smart. You just walk, even if you are, even if you are in a church, my sister, eh, you cannot sing well. You will see in, in, in the choir how the, the ladies who they sing, the song of God, they say they are worshipping God. They will twist that head round and round and round. You see those hairs like satanic demonic spirit, running, running, going round and round and round. It is not well. Our own hair, our natural hair, African, if you are an African, God knows why he gave you African hair. If you are an Asiatic, God knows why he gave you that hair. If you are a European, you are an American, you are a German, God knows that is your own hair. You go collect a hair for another person and put it in your head. This hair you carry, let me tell you, my sister, it will disturb you. It will not give you peace. Because me, I see one time in internet, in YouTube, a lady, they were praying for her. The demons were coming out. She fell down. That parike, they call it parike, I don't know which. It fell down also. So she remained with her own natural hair, Afri African hair. Yes, that is it, my sister. Uh -huh. So I'll continue with this. Uh, I will continue with this um, word of God because my 15 minutes are, fi are finished. I'll be back. My sister, my brother, God bless you. But please think about it. Think about it. 
Think about it. That hair is not your own hair. Put on just your own hair. Remain with your hair. Hallelujah. God bless you.